We're here at the Oregon State Fairgrounds District event uh, with Team 2521 CERT. Uh, they're here with their amazing robot, currently ranked seven in EPA worldwide. Uh, we're here with Nathan, uh, Cinco, Benji. Uh, they're gonna highlight uh, some things about their intake uh, here on Behind the Bumpers. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Animark is your one-stop shop for all your robotics competition needs. Celebrating 20 years of quality robotics parts and superior service, Animark employees have over 200 years of first-team experience. From mechanical and electrical products to tools and hardware, head on over to Animark.com for high-quality and affordable solutions. Support Fun's content creators when you sign up for a membership on YouTube Join. You'll get access to special perks like emotes, loyalty badges, and Fun members will even get early access to our scheduled videos and more. 100% of this revenue will go back to our correspondents to help recognize their efforts. Click the Join button in any YouTube video to pledge your support. So let's start with our intake. Nathan, tell us about it. Okay, so we put a lot of thought into the intake because there was a lot of factors we had to consider and test us when creating about just what would be most efficient, what makes the most sense with our abilities. And eventually we decided on an under the bumper intake comprised of three polycarb rollers, two of which have um, cat's tongue grip tape to help better suck up and center notes. And then a third roller in the back to help guide it into this HDPE section, which has two sets of centering flywheels and then feeds it up into our shooter, but is stopped before hitting these flywheels with a beam brake, so that way these have time to spin up. Um, some of the big things about our intake that we had to consider while building it is especially specifically the polycord and making sure we got the right ratio for that to make sure it would run smoothly all of the time. Yeah, we can run that real quick. Oh, can you enable? All right, uh, now we're on to Cinco. Yeah, so I'm going to talk a little bit about our strategic plan for the season and our overall robot architecture. This season, a big focus for us was going with a simple robot. We wanted to know that we could still run primary cycles in a match without too much working on our robot. So this stowed position right here is a position where we can run speaker cycles from the subwoofer our shooter hard stops at the correct angle to shoot into the subwoofer with a piece of box tube right here. Um, and the note automatically stops from the intake with a beam brake, like Nathan said. So as soon as we intake the piece without moving anything else, it's all ready to, ready to score into the subwoofer and we don't need to do anything else to score a cycle. That allows us to clean up pieces near the subwoofer a lot quicker. Another few things we did for simplicity are running just max planetaries opposite each other on our pivot structure. You can see we just have one Neo and max planetary on each side with a hex shaft captive between them. These are on a 25 to one reduction on each max planetary. And we have 54 tooth sprockets up here for a 112 and a half to one overall reduction, uh, which makes our pivot nice and snappy, but also makes sure we have no issues with uh, ability to move our shooter quickly to the set positions we need. One final thing we did on our pivot structure for simplicity is we decided to go with a live hex setup uh, with max spline riding on top of it. And this allows us to put uh, on axis uh, rev through bore encoder. And that means we just don't need to worry about any kind of things going wrong with getting the absolute position of our pivot and hitting all the set positions we need. All right, uh, and on to Benji. For our software and autos, autos we didn't have vision because um, the field tolerances make global localization kind of difficult, but basically we would tune auto with just the drivetrain for a, like, we would, we would tune that for a long time until we could hit the autos, the, like the six piece, for example, really consistently. And we also knew that the field, the field would be different than the, our field at home. So we would, we, we tuned the um, auto like during practice matches and between matches. We take videos of all our autos so that, so that whenever an auto goes wrong, we can figure it out and make it better next time. Um, 
Yeah. All right. All right. Uh, thank you, sir, for their interview. Uh, they're currently ranked number one here at the Oregon State in, at the Oregon State Fairgrounds District event. Uh, yeah. Thank you for uh, the interview and good luck. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Animark is your one-stop shop for all your robotics competition needs. Celebrating 20 years of quality robotics parts and superior service, Animark employees have over 200 years of first-team experience. From mechanical and electrical products to tools and hardware, head on over to Animark.com for high-quality and affordable solutions.